Sunday. Gonna wait for a little bit, let some people get in. Oh wait, maybe I didn't. Oh, hey, hi, Chad. <laughs> I was just wondering, I was like, maybe I haven't um, hit the right settings. Um, there's everybody, hi. Hi, not me. How's it going? Hi, Linda. Hi, Wendy, Lindy. <laughs> hi, Vima, watching from Minnesota. Nice, how's the weather in Minnesota? Is it cold? And Norma Jean from BC, Canada, nice. Hi, Edward. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Jade. Hi, uh, Marius. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Lori. Hi, Catherine. Hi, Tina. <laughs> Hi, Goth Angel. Hi, Frederica. Hi, Il Smile. Um, hi, N. It's Kim and Frank from Washington State. I find, yeah, well, I'm glad you caught one of the lives. <laughs> Hi, Love and Truth. Hi, Reverend Rashim. Good afternoon to you. Oh, thank you. I look lovely and young looking. I'm feeling tired, but uh, yeah. Hi, Alling Dog Design. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Chad. Hi, June. Hi, Eel Smile. Oh, watch it from the UK. Okay, I said hi to you. <laughs> nice. Um, what time is it in the UK? Hi, Scott. Hi, Laura. Happy Sunday, everyone. Yeah. Hi, Michelle. Not me says, hope as good as you're doing. Yeah. Um, so I won't wait too long for the surprise. I don't know that I can wait too long. Um, let me scroll down. There's a lot of people. Hi, everybody. Oh, you guys might have just heard. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Um, I have a surprise. <laughs> She's a little excited. Um, <laughs> here, she smells her food, that's why. So I'll let that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, hi, Nikki, it's 7.05 in the UK. Okay, 7.05. <laughs> I have a puppy. Yeah, I did let, um, Frederica <laughs> said, yeah. Um, I did let um, the Patreon members know. Um, oh, thank you, Reverend Rashim. Thank you for the super chat. Um, Josephine, I'm a Taurus. Um, <laughs> leave, oh no, with the star eyes. Um, thank you, Kathy. Um, that's a good little thing to have a puppy. You have a little Yorkshire. Yeah, nice, yeah. Um, it's new. <laughs> <laughs> Soon I'll need a bigger vehicle. Does she have a name? Her name is Ruby. Um, she's eating a little bit. Um, and then I'll show her again. Um, Josephine, you're a Scorpio. Nice. Uh, my moon sign is Scorpio. So Goth Angel asks, where did I find that sweet pup? Well, um, her name is Ruby. <laughs> Surprise, guys. I We'll see how this goes. Um, Chiefs, 49ers, Taylor Swift. Yeah, <laughs> you're excited for the football game. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, a best friend. Yeah, a travel, a travel buddy to, um, you know, we'll see. It's, um, we'll see how it goes. I have a very small, you have a Ruby puppy? Nice. Um, it's a small space in here, but, you know, I just said, I think it was the last live that I want to be getting out more and going for walks more and starting running again. Um, yeah, so she's lab and healer. Like she's a, well, the I don't know. She's a, she's a lab mix, but she's got lab and healer. Um, she's from Bakersfield. It was a family, they had both the dogs and they had a litter of puppies and the mom didn't want to feed them anymore. Um, 
I did see her in um, Craigslist just because, like, I, I just look at Craigslist. I'm always looking at animals. I'm looking at goats. I'm looking at everything. I just love animals. You guys know that. <laughs> I think animals might like me a little bit, too. But, um, and uh, so I was looking, and um, they, her mom, uh, um, didn't want to feed them anymore. So she's actually six weeks today. She's very young and, um, they couldn't afford the puppy food. They, you know, they, she, they, they were going to keep one and then all the other seven, they just were giving them away for free because they couldn't afford to, to keep them since the mom wasn't wanting to feed them. So she's very young and, um, they just wanted them gone as soon as possible. You thought I got engaged? No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a big surprise. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised not more people guessed because I've been kind of hinting at it and in the comments a little bit here and there. Some people are like um, that I should get a dog. And I'm like, well, if I cross paths, you know, and the timing was right and everything. Um, so it is another responsibility. And I kind of just like, um, so it, there is that. Um, but I think that the companionship and just, I do spend so much time alone. And so for like the hiking and the walks and things like that, it'll be, it'll be good. And, um, I have, I love meowsers too. Um, so, oh yeah, yeah. You can see here she is. She ate a little more. She's a little rambunctious. She's been sleeping a lot. So this is Ruby. <laughs> I've had Ruby since Wednesday. Um, and she's six weeks today. Um, so she's young. <laughs> <laughs> and she's rambunctious. Um, <laughs> and we're adjusting. Um, so I have a crate for her. I did get a crate right now. It's currently in the passenger seat. Um, you love my giggle? <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. She brings me a lot of joy. Um, and I, when I was really sitting with the decision, yeah, Rowan and Ruby, <laughs> When I was sitting with the decision around it, you know, um, that's what I went with. Um, it's an extra responsibility. I can tell you I haven't been getting as much sleep and I have, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm getting over my cold and everything, but, um, she, Ruby will rule my life. <laughs> well, hopefully, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, we're, she's, we're in it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I, plan on getting at some point I've talked about like a box truck or a mini school bus or something like that that I'd like to have a wood stove in um possibly um you thought a bird I know a bird well I think that's actually what kind of the turning point for me was was that if that um I'm glad you can get on the chat line Frederica um Roscoe rules yours yeah I mean I've I've had I've been a dog owner before and I know that they're a huge responsibility um they're also you know, uh, such a, uh, they bring me a lot of joy. I love animals. And I feel like the bird really got me. I was like that. I would have, if it had been easy to bring that bird along with me, I would have. Um, and cause it, it seemed like it chose me and that got me thinking like, you know, I really am drawn to traveling with a, with an animal. So I do want to do some international travels. There are, you know, I like kayaking, so I'd like to train her to be able to kayak with me. Um, but I, I know that there's always JC Colin. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Pet food and coffee. Of course. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I know that a lot of people make it, um, make it work with, with, um, with a little creativity and ingenuity. And, um, I, I, I'm, I, I have confidence that I'll figure it out and still be able to do the things that I want to do. So I do have a crate and when I door dash, cause I've been door dashing, so I'm getting her crate trained and, um, um, Rowan, all these lovely dolls following you as you make us all happy to be well thank you so much I appreciate you guys too I really do and I'm I was worried I was like oh, I'm a little worried that you guys might like think it's silly or um I do have a cat so that's what I was saying I'm jumping around a little bit too um yeah she does have a beautiful coat um so I do have a cat and um so my cat is currently at, at my son's place and I 
took my cat camping this summer to try out in the car. Like I took her with me for a few days and we stayed at a campground. Um, hi, Diane. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Life with Roscoe. I appreciate that. I appreciate that for pet food. Yeah. Um, oh, people. <laughs> well, you guys are dolls too. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Yeah. Um, your cat is your best friend. Yeah, I, I love, um, yeah, thank you, Lady Venus. Who cares what others, th <laughs> thank you. You love me unconditionally. Thank you. Um, Ruby's very young. Yeah, re remember rescuing two puppies? They cried, um, to not to miss their mama. We found a new home for Silly and kept Willie. Yeah. Oh, thank you. And yeah, make sure y'all hit the like button. Um, she does cry a lot, but she's bonding with me and she it's nice to have this time um because she's sleeping a lot and we're bonding and um but um Lindsay I do and I'll show her again in a minute she's finally kind of like calming down I think she just got excited because I I parked and came back here and then she ate and um now she's chewing on her little toy um <laughs> and um yeah it's definitely a, a auctioning my cat no no <laughs> you're funny who is this <laughs> snow devs no i'm not auctioning off meowsers so hopefully um you know at some point down the road um it would be nice to get a larger vehicle and keep traveling i've talked about how i want six months out of the year to be kind of settled and be working on my homestead and six months out of the um um year i want to be traveling and sometimes it'll be international travel and sometimes it'll be like i'm doing now and just traveling around the country and um and also maybe canada um or I, i'm not sure just different places but you know tr car travel for six months so she'll be able to come with me for, on that um but i would like to get a, a larger vehicle at some point to be able to um and i would like to have my cat with me as well so right now she's very comfortable she's bonded with my son um which is nice and my son has a dog as well so my cat is used to dogs um and so my cat i think will be meowsers um meowsers will be fine with ruby and ruby's young enough that um i think that they'll they'll be they'll get along i have confidence in that um so at some point uh but it was hard when i went um and stayed at the campground with my cat it was like a huge transition and i think that um for what i have now the vehicle that i have the door dashing that i do um it's easier with a dog and i do i'm working on crate training her so she um the crate is in the passenger seat um so like at night it does fold up too but we'll just we just stay back here i don't have her in the crate um and then um, like for door dashing, I put her in the crate in the back and I put a blanket over it. So I make sure I fed her, I take her out, all that. And then I put her toy with her. She is so young, so she does whine sometimes, but, um, I have the crate in the back, like just on the bed where I'm sitting and, um, I put my throw blanket over it and she usually sleeps and I have like maybe a good hour and a half or two where I can door dash. Um, and then I'll go offline. I'll, you know, take her out and deal with her and do stuff like that. So it's working. It's an adjustment though. It's kind of feels similar to when I first started staying in my car full time where there was a learning curve and I was exhausted. Um, I made a video, I think it was with my Toyota Corolla and I was like, this is hard. And it's because also I hadn't figured out um, to take the seats out and to be able to really sleep comfortably. Um, and anybody who's had a little puppy, um, a <laughs> little house on the prairie. Yeah, I'd love that. My gosh. Yeah. And a dog and a cat and <laughs> meowsers and Ruby and my fruit trees and goats and chickens. And <laughs> um, you're starting to live in your car March 1st. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. So that's the other thing, you guys. Um, of course, it'll work out. Thank you, Marjorie. And thank you guys for just your being so supportive. And um. I am going to keep saying that because I really appreciate all of your, your support um, and that you guys are along for the adventure. So I am, um, I am learning how to, um, no, I don't have a, I'm single, um, Daniel. Um, 
I'm just doing, I'm really focused right now on, 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 um, kind of the adventuring that I'm doing. I'm, it's a transition period in my time. Um, Donita, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty focused on, on, um, I want to make videos for you guys. I want to vlog. I want to document. I had no idea that so many people would be drawn to the channel. And that's, I, I, I really want to be there for you guys. And I'm also living my life and kind of, um, which means things like getting a puppy. Um, Windy Lindy, thank you so much. <laughs> um, and then, um, you know, there's just transition, um, in, in terms of, you know, I talk about my son and he's doing great. Um, and I, uh, you know, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure how that time, I mean, for 18 years I've been there as his, as his mom. And so now, um, it's, it's, I'm just in a transition period. Good morning, Rose. So I'm handling the transition as gracefully as possible and kind of honoring, um, the obligations that I do have. Um, and yeah. Hi, Maury. <laughs> Welcome. Um, Greetings from Italy. Um, so, well, greetings from <laughs> the U.S. Um, so, uh, I feel like I kind of I've, I've been jumping all over. But somebody mentioned something about meetups, and I would love I would love to do some meetups. So maybe I'm kind of imagining. I don't know the exact timeline. Um, I do want to spend a couple weeks in Washington. Um, for my son's birthday, not not the whole few weeks with him, but I want to be around to be able to spend a couple days with him around his birthday. That's coming up in a few weeks. Um, <laughs> did you say something? Let me see. I'm gonna be. Do you realize you're gonna be? You're gonna stock up on Christmas cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, Tammy, you've been to watch the videos. Thank you. My videos are so well put together. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Loving truth. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you, Lady Venus. That's awesome. Your son's moving out March 1st and decided to take the leap of faith. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it's uh, uh, parenting is a big chapter of life. And then when kids grow up and, you know, it's not like we're ever done being parents. Um, it's been since September that I've seen my son. So I'm really looking forward to spending some time with him, um, you know, and he's excited to meet my new puppy and, and it'll be fun to have a couple days to hang out with him. Um, but it's a different chapter. I mean, it's, that's, it's, it, so I think it's good to have something, some adventure, a creative project. Sometimes we need that, especially, um, you know, it, it, as a, as a single parent, it's like, I, 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 that was a big, big part of my life. And so it's like, um, you know, um, and then also, um, reducing my bills. You guys know, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm a little tired. I'm happy, but I'm tired. Um, ch change the channel name to just Rowan and Ruby. <laughs> I might, <laughs> I might. Um, but that, but yeah, so, so I, I would like to do meetups, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, and I imagine, I don't know the timing of it all. So I, I am um, working my way towards Washington and I'd like to spend a little bit of time there. There's some areas, the forest, the land um, that I, I miss. Um, um, I'm really familiar with the DoorDash market there. So I think it'll be good to have that. I've been DoorDashing all over since September, different parts, and it's fun um, to explore new areas, but I can tell I'm a little, I'm a little, um, I'm a little tired, you know, with the cold and stuff. So it'll be nice to be in a familiar area. Um, I'm so excited. I know some good, good spots to, um, just hikes and things like that, that I'm excited, some ocean spots. Um, and then I don't know, I imagine I might do a circuit again, like I, like I did in September. So I don't know how long, um, the weather's great. The Pacific Northwest is beautiful in the spring and summer, but so are a lot of other parts of the more Northern area. Um, so, and I imagine that when I do that circuit again, and maybe some zigzag to hit some, you know, maybe a little longer in Tennessee or different states that I didn't spend as long that I can imagine doing some meetups. I feel like I'm getting kind of my feet under me with this, um, this new chapter of life. And, um, 
uh, then it would be really cool to, to do some meetups. So when I'm in a state, you know, or when I know that I'll be in a state, say, hey, you know, I'm going to do this meetup at a campground or a park. And um, I would love to do that because, um, you know, people have been reaching out and welcoming me to um, stay with in their driveway or on their land. And I really appreciate that. Um, and I think at this point, I would be more comfortable doing like a meetup at a park. And that would give me a chance to build connections with you guys that are a little more, um, you know, face to face. Um, yeah. Yeah. Rhode Island for the summer. Nice. <laughs> um, when I first started out, did I know where I was going? Um, not really. I mean, I had some idea. I knew I wanted to kind of follow the weather. Um, and so, um, yeah. Um, Miss Jada. <laughs> yeah. You love the idea? Next time I'm in North Florida, you'd love to um, meet up? Yeah. I mean, there were a bunch of people in Florida and that reached out and I, I loved my time in Florida. It was really fun. Um, I, I, uh, I kind of knew in the back of my mind, I mean, I wasn't set on it, but I knew that I wanted to spend, um, some time with my son around his birthday. Um, that was, Im that's important to me. So I kind of knew that. And then also the weather, I was a little tired. It just, I feel like I've been kind of dodging storms this whole trip. And I don't know if that's just part of my life path. Um, <laughs> Um, and storms come in all forms. There's the weather storms. There's the, you know, just life challenge storms. There's, there's all kinds of storms. And so, um, I'm learning to weather the storms, all, all kinds of storms. Um, but I think that, um, Florida, and then I went towards, um, Louisiana and Houston, and there was like another huge rainstorm with flooding. And then just, um, in, in, uh, LA after I got the ukulele and was a little north of there there was another storm I think there's just a lot of storms right now oh what color is Ruby um she's brown and then her eyes I'm not sure Ruby look look at <laughs> hi she's normally so sleepy I think um she's just excited <laughs> this is Ruby she's excited I don't think she sees herself there. Look, Ruby. I wish you guys could talk and make noise and say hi, because that might get her attention. Um, she's got a little, little toy. I went to the dollar store and got some things. She likes chewing on this. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So that's Ruby, and she is fun. She's really cuddly. Um, Oh, thank you, Tammy. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll, um, I will say a happy birthday from you. Um, yeah, she will get big. Her mom was like a medium size. Um, her mom was the healer. And, um, so, um, <laughs> Annie, yeah, I did. Um, have I been to Pennsylvania? I have been to Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is nice. It has the Allegheny forest, right? Um, <laughs> thank you, Maury. Yeah, so she's fun. She's she's really surprisingly well. Um, she's smart. She's a smart dog. Um, you got um, you got you got your teeth done. How are you feeling, Diane, with your teeth? Your mouth is chapped. Oh, we'll make sure. Maybe you have some chapstick. Um, thank you, Daniel. I'm glad you guys like Ruby. <laughs> Um, but yeah, she's, she's done really well between the crate training. I mean, she whines a little bit and then, but she's good. She lets me know when she has to go outside and she has only been waking up once at night. Um, so, you know, that's to go outside. So she's done pretty well. She's done pretty well with that. Um, yeah, she's very playful right now, which is kind of fun. Um, maybe I can put the camera here and show you guys a little bit. Um, let's see. So we have our little, little area over here. Oops, the cord. And she's just playing around. Ruby. She's very playful. So this is what she's doing over here while I'm chatting with you guys. And yeah, she might, she probably will be smaller than a lab, but, um, um, not like 
not small. She's not going to be a small dog. But I, I, I didn't, I don't, it, you know, a part of it is, is um, someone to help watch my back. Um, she can help do that and she can provide, um, you know, companionship and just be there, somebody to share stuff with and, um, you know, and, uh, yeah, just be, it's fun to talk to her. Oops, she hit her head. <laughs> so she does, she chews a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I've got to get her a lot of chew toys. This is my bear. And this is my cat. So um, your toy's here. <laughs> but um, yeah, puppies are a lot of fun. So I'm glad I have the crate. Um, and uh, the crate will come in handy, I think. So when I'm not in the car, um, you know, if I'm taking a shower or going grocery shopping or things like that where I'm not in the car, I'm going to put her in the crate because I feel like she would chew everything up very quickly um and so but when I am in the car with her like this we'll just hang out and then the other time she'll be in the crate is when we're door dashing um so yeah <laughs> and she's doing really well on the leash um um <laughs> like she's she's uh here that's your chew toy So, yeah. That's Ruby. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. So I wanted to do a celebration at 25,000. And yeah, it's almost 26,000. I, I mean, it's, yeah. Um, is she going to get big? She'll probably be like a large, medium-sized dog. Medium-large. So like in between medium and large size um <laughs> and her name is ruby q berry <laughs> it's her full name so um yeah thanks for hitting that thumbs up button guys i appreciate that but yes i want to do a celebration live so i'm thinking and then i also realized it's valentine's day nobody welcome to your first live chat um i'm thinking i'll go live around four on Valentine's Day, a special live, like we do our Sunday lives, but then also Wednesday, um, around four Pacific time is what I'm thinking. I'd like to go live and just spend some time with you guys. Um, and, um, oop, there we go. Get back up on the bed. And, um, your van's name is Ruby. That's cool. You got a DoorDash Dodge City van life. Well, have fun. I hope it's lucrative. Super Bowl Sunday. I door dashed earlier and it was great. Actually, I made $46 and it was, um, but they were high paying orders for, I think I only door dashed for like an hour and a half or something. So good luck out there. And I plan to do that again later. Um, I'll probably take her for a walk after the live and then, yeah, I'll be door dashing again. So, um, good luck out there. Um, someone asked a question about door dash. Is door dashing easy? Um, it's driving. So between all the driving I do just for travel and then, I mean, I, I live in my car, so it's a lot of time in the car, but sitting here, this is different than like driving. I mean, so, but the, so door dashing and traveling is, is a lot of driving. It adds up to a lot of driving. You like her name, Shea Wolf? You love her name? Oh, good. I'm glad. Um, yeah, but it's easy. I mean, I like driving. Um, I think I'm a pretty good driver. Uh, knock on wood. But um, yeah. My ukulele practice is going well. So I'm sorry, I didn't post a video. I've worked on it. I have some nice footage um, uh, of, of her. And then I've done some... Um, some just practicing my four my three chords i'm working on three chords with the ukulele um thank you daniel you as well um so i'm working on um keeping it tuned because when you well with my violin when i would put new strings on it or um it would take a while for the pegs to kind of learn their uh, the tuning um oh she might need to go outside do you guys want to go outside? <laughs> so I have been practicing my ukulele. Um, you guys want to go outside? I'm going to take her outside. Your mom loves my videos. Nice. 
Um, she might have to go. So, um, you want to go outside? Okay. I make sure I parked where there's like, um, this little field. And I don't know. A wind up clock. Yeah. Somebody suggested like, um, a heartbeat pillow too. Um, hold on a second. Okay. I just got to get situated here. I'll turn the camera around in a minute. Uh, actually, I'll just put it on her. Oh, it says pin to the live stream. What? There she is. Oh, see? Good girl. She, she's um, kind of pretty good at letting me know. <laughs> if there's a... She is very tiny. Oh, I'm hitting buttons again. I'm going to take her across the street. Just... I'm going to keep it on the ground for now until I get across the street. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, and hopefully I don't lose the Wi-Fi. There's some grass over here. She's very tiny. She's six weeks old today. Um, she is a smart puppy. There we go. Here's some grass. Uh oh, is oh she might be thirsty too. See, she's licking the grass. Let's go this way. Let's get away from the road. Come on. Yeah, I can. I'm, I should learn how to do that. I can learning how to pin the comments. So remember how I was wondering with a, um, how to do that? Um, there's, there's a, um, there's different buttons. The one that was, looks like a wand, I guess I can do like different um, filters, which is kind of cool. So like, I think I can like do like, I don't know, bubbles or, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know this. That's weird. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. So there's those options. Let's go back to the regular. And then this other one, it says pin to the live stream, tag, comments and pin them but I don't want to do that I'm not sure how to if I can pin a I don't know um yeah I'm gonna I think she's good so we're gonna take we're gonna pack in the car oops hold on there we go make sure you watch the road ah Yes. Um. I did. I got her a harness at the dollar store, actually, but she's a, a little small for it. Um, but yeah, I would love to get a harness because I don't want to be pulling on her. Okay, now we're back in here. Thanks, guys, for coming along while well, she got to go outside. And okay, so this is a less formal live um, <laughs> than usual. Um, oops. And now I don't know how to get these um, the filter thing off. So it has all these like different stuff. Oh, I'm glad you love Ruby already. I don't know how to get rid of the. Um, all these filter things now, so I can't read the comments as much. Um, there's like these different filters I can use. So I'm gonna push some buttons here for a minute. I don't know how to, 
Hmm. Thank you, Vima. <laughs> Hi, Sharon from Malta. Uh, yeah, there's uh, this, um, I don't, so I can read one comment at a time, but I know I can um, scroll through them. Hi from Ireland. Um, if I put a computer on this side, would you be able to read the comments on there? That's a good idea. I just have an iPad. I don't have a computer. Um, so, but I, and I've never had the iPad going at the same time. I do have a hotspot from my phone. So um, I thought about doing like a live DoorDash one time. Um, hi, Francis. Um, oh, Diane, Sandy Nieves is Bakersfield. Um, that's where Ruby's from. She's from Bakersfield. Um, <laughs> hi, Kay Coffee. Oh, good. Yeah, she is. She's a cutie pie. Um, so I'll figure that out, though, because I love going live with you guys, and I like the Sunday lives that we do. Um, and, uh, Oh, you sent another email? Yes, I have like a bunch. I'm I'm not great about keeping up, but I do read the emails. I'm not great about responding, um, but I always star them and go through. And as I respond, I, I, I unstar them. So I will eventually get to all of them. It might take me weeks or a month or more, but I, I appreciate them and I read them. And, um, and yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 25,000 it is. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bring her to get, um, I did bring her to the vet and had her checked up, so she's good. Um, but I will start her vaccination soon. I think at Petco they do it because I travel. Um, they have a vet there so that I can start the, um, it should be good dashing for the Super Bowl. Yeah. Hi, Wayne. Um, I can start the series of um, vaccinations um, and then like be at different pet co's so um rather than having like one set vet somewhere i think that's how i'll have to do it because it's like you start them i'll start them pretty soon and then through i think it's like 14 weeks of getting them and just because we are in so many different places i want to get those and just make sure that she's healthy um what question is she or what breed is she again um she's um she was it was it's a lab healer mix so the the I did meet they had both the parents there um and he's like a lab mix the dad he looked like maybe I don't know he was kind of a skinnier longer like a Weimer runner maybe in the lab um and then the mom was healer but she was like all white and had a spot on her eye and she had like a whiter head and she was petite and I don't think she had a tail um I don't I'm not sure so they they're not there she's a she's a lab mix um but I, I they had said healer so those are the ones I know for sure um she seems very alert for her age and like um she's already very aware of like letting me know when she has to go outside so I think she's pretty smart she's a bright little puppy um I'm glad you caught the live too hey Jessica <laughs> nice um I'm missing a bunch of chats and now I have this thing on here that's like um got the, the filter so I don't um yeah I'm glad you caught I'm glad you caught the live um so the bottom of the screen has all these boxes of different filters, which could be fun to tr to try out. Um, I will need a big, bigger vehicle. Um, you know, maybe six months down the road. We'll see. Um, I'm going to really work on, I do have two car payments and I, um, I'm going to work on getting this one paid off as soon as possible. Um, and then the Corolla is one that's just like in the background and I'm just, because I don't want to, um, surrender that as I want to keep my credit going. So this car I'm going to pay off as soon as possible and then um, save up for um, uh, something that could, it's it's like tiny home that, that goes towards my long-term goal of six months having a homestead, six months traveling so whatever that was with my dog and my cat so whatever that would look like um register her as a companion dog to go in place that would be cool yeah i don't know the steps of doing that but oh and now she's passed out <laughs> and now she's all worn out that would be nice though because to be able to bring her in i have a bag um i have just like it's like an over the shoulder like messenger style bag it's leather um 
and I bring her in. She fits in that. So yesterday we just walked around just to take a break. I just like took her and put her in her bag and she and I walked around and just uh, looked at, I don't know where, what, where were we? It was like somewhere south of San Francisco. So um, yeah, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> she came and walked in, in the little bag, um, but she's going to get big for sure. Um, and yes, I would like to get a harness for her and it'd be cool to get maybe, um, you know, they have like those hiking saddlebags for dogs and stuff, but all in due time. Um, yeah, I'm just happy that I can, um, that we crossed paths because they were looking for homes for their puppies. They could, they couldn't feed them. And, um, you know, they, the mom stopped nursing them and they just, they, they couldn't afford to bring them to the vet and, and all that. So, um, you know, and, uh, yeah. So I'm happy that I crossed paths and that we can, we can, you know, take care of each other. Um, hi Jovit from Dubai. Welcome. Um, a lot of places were let her in if she's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. Um, your son had a lab pit bull mix and um, the, the grocery store was dog friendly. Yeah, I feel like more places these days are. Um, backpack bubble ones for small pets and microchip. Yes, I would like to get her microchip because I plan on doing some hiking and stuff with her too. And I just don't, I don't, I want her with me for a long time. Um, I should get a minivan, um, a, perhaps a small school bus. Yeah um and get her chipped yeah definitely um have i been thinking about getting a dog i always knew i wanted another one um so my son has a dog that's that's his dog um um oh wow um maury thank you it says for the vet thank you so much maury i really appreciate that thank you and for the vet that'll definitely come in handy i appreciate that so much um thank you maury um yeah, so the Ruby was the name of your sweet this your sweetest dog. You had her for 15 years. Good karma. Yeah, thank you. Well, I mean, you guys yeah, so it's it is a special name and uh um I got to show you you guys. She's so cute. And um she's all knocked out. She wore herself out. This is my sleeping bag. This is usually in a in a pillowcase. Um, I keep this in a pillowcase and then I take it out at night. So this sleeping bag, um, it's a zero degree sleeping bag. And here's the throw blanket that I have. So it's just all cozy back here. Lately, I've been not really caring as much about arranging all these blankets and pillows. But yeah, she's tired. <laughs> That's little Ruby. So, yeah, Oop, let's get this turned around again. Um, bye, Diana. Thanks for joining. Um, Got to feed your dogs. Two-year-old uh, July 5th Siberian Husky Rebel and Heidi Anatolian Shepherd, six years old. Nice. Those sound like really nice dogs. Um, yeah, she's a sweetie pie. Um, so... Yeah, Ruby. Ruby Q Berry. <laughs> you know, I had to get the berry on there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I agree. Um, Joey girl. Yeah, that'll that'll be very helpful. Um, um Ruby came just in time for Valentine's Day, right? Puppy love. Um, I am yeah, lots of pictures. So I do have a video that I'm working on that I would like to get out pretty soon. Um it's uh it's the the editing. Sometimes editing a video takes me uh, five or six hours, um, which I love. I love doing that. And usually what I'll do is I'll film and compile everything. And then at the end of my night, when I kind of wind down and hunker down, which usually is around nine, then I edit and then I upload. And so it's like until, um, thank you, Jamie, and welcome to the channel. Um, I'll edit for about five hours and then upload. And that's why, um, like I can get them posted in the morning, um, uh, which I usually try to do like 
yeah, in the morning because that's that's how it works. But um, I haven't <clears throat> I haven't had that chunk of time as much, and there's just been a lot. And then also being sick, I kind of gave myself some extra downtime, um, <clears throat> and so. But I have a video coming, and there'll be some footage, and then I do want to go live on Valentine's Day at 4 Pacific time. And I have an idea of just maybe some special little snack. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. I can tell I'm getting over, but I have to make sure that I'm, I'm taking Echinacea Golden Seal um, and Vitamin C and... Um, I should be drinking more water um, and then I think I'll start sleeping more during the day like taking naps with her and do and just until I'm totally better so right now I've been like door dashing during that time um, but maybe kind of trying to balance that out a little bit more just so I can get rested so I can get a hundred percent better but I am doing a lot better than I was um, earlier um, yeah the sinus and congestion yep um, yeah, there are a lot of colds going around. Laura, I hope you feel better soon. You're nursing a cold. Yeah, Marley, first time here. You subbed about two weeks ago and have binge watched my vlogs. Also, the followers check your subscription because YouTube keeps unsubbing me from the channel. Well, welcome, Marley. Thank you for um, checking out the older videos. That's awesome. And also, yeah, it was... Um, that's happened in the past. I've heard... I've gotten that feedback. So, yeah, people make sure... If you're interested in being subscribed, that you're still subscribed, because I guess they're un. It's un. Sometimes people just get unsubscribed for some reason. So, um, and welcome to the channel, Marley. Um, yeah, yeah, echinacea, and then I like golden seal too. Golden seal is like a power root. Um, I do think that it's um, it's there's not a lot of it out there. So I, I but you don't need too much. But it's something I don't. I use sparingly, but it's like it's a potent um, it, um i find it personally i'm not a doctor um but for me personally i find it very um a very good antibacterial and antiviral so for like sinus congestions and things like that um it can be it can be very helpful um so yeah that and then vitamin c uh i think that's one of those things it's easy to i feel like oh i'll get enough vitamin c in my diet but Living this lifestyle, fresh fruit and vegetables, it's, it's, there, I don't, it's like I gotta just grab a snack every time I'm in the grocery store and get myself an orange or an apple and, um, or maybe like one of those drinks with like greens and stuff like that. And, but if I don't do that, I can go a couple of days and not have fresh, fresh foods. And so that's, that's a lot, that's vitamin C is a, fresh foods are a source of vitamin C. So I've realized I have to make sure that I'm taking vitamin C. Um, because that's, that's critical too. Yeah. Oh, you saw her on your iPhone? Hi, Nomadic, uh, Conqueror. You just, I saw her just now on your iPhone. Um, 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 Ruby? Just like an infant, sleep during the day. Yes. Um, did I pick up some potty pads? Um, I did. They had them at the dollar store. So, um, you're at the Dana Point Marina, a paddleboarder just floated by with her doggy. Nice. Yeah, I'm excited. I love kayaking. And so I'm excited to take her kayaking and figure that out. And I was thinking, you know, I'm going to be renting, um, hi, Kelly Jones. Um, I, I, I'm just going to rent here and there as I kind of, travel um and find places that i'd like to kayak and i think that you know the single kayak there's not a lot of room right now i could put her probably in my bag that i have my messenger bag while i'm going although it might might be a little tricky but as she gets older um, labs do like water yeah i love water so i'm like whatever dog <laughs> yeah um either chilling on the shore while i go swimming but yeah it'd be it'll be cool to have her come kayaking and then have um they have the double kayaks so she i could rent um a double one and maybe she could sit when she's bigger um yeah i love kayaking um that was fun in the in Florida to go kayaking and I would like to go um uh there was a place in California I looked at but then the storms were coming and yeah there's a few ideas I have one for this um in a in maybe in a month or two there's another place that I'm excited to take you guys that I know for sure I want to go kayaking um yeah um 
Santa Cruz, California Hound Dog Rose. Finally, I made it during the live. Thanks for sharing the natural supplements. Oh yeah, you're welcome. More and more I'm adding more supplements to my life. I like hearing others using similar prog um, products. You're welcome. Yeah, and I always mention I'm not a doctor, um, but I've used natural supplements throughout my life. Um, and I found that they are extremely beneficial and that um, for me personally, um, in my experience that uh, there's a lot of cautions around different stuff, but that any medication, anything we put into our body has potential side effects. Anything, sugar, coffee, um, wheat, uh, meat, uh, vegetable, anything has that. So just we just have to learn the things that we're taking in and um, to be familiar with, with kind of the benefits of those things as well as potential... Like Hawthorne and I brought up, that's when you have to be careful because there are like potential counter indications with medications and prescribed medications, stuff like that. But always check with your doctor. Um, but there are so many plants that just grow outside around us. And I mean, I think the first, the well, it's, it's all connected, but it's learning what the plants are, learning the benefits that they have, and then learning, being able to identify the plants that are around us that grow um you know it, some of my favorites elderberry hawthorn those grow a lot of places um and to be able to recognize them and they're free i mean as long as you're not like on somebody's property or um you know if, if they're they're free and you can harvest those things and then be taking care of our bodies and our well-being naturally and for free i mean there's so much power in that um but i'm not a doctor that's just my personal experience how i like to do things and so always check with your doctor before you take anything um that's yeah um yeah thank you kathy yeah hit the thumbs up button um van aid meetup yeah i would love to do some meetups yeah vitamin d i took i did get some vitamin d um Yes, it is crucial, and I think um, we can get some from the sun, but I learned recently, like, it's hard to get enough from the sun. Um, um, it, are you think it depends on the kind of system you have, because sometimes natural remedies work differently? Yes, so, like, echinacea, um, it, it, it feels like it, it's prickly to me. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the flower, but it, it is a little prickly, like the, the flower, but I feel that in me, and I, I don't always feel like echinacea is the, the greatest one for me. That's um, golden seal, though, is like, boom. It's a bitter herb, and so bitter herbs, it's bitter is a flavor food group that I think a lot of times we don't think about, um, but it's an important one. So sometimes like bitters, like people will do bitters for digestion, um, and those bitter herbs can do things to our constitution, our body, help produce different juices and fluids and and um bile and whatever that just get everything going it, it, it more smoothly um and i don't know this is where i'm like you know check with your doctor <laughs> but yeah the bitter food group golden seal is a bitter 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 or very bitter it's so potent that i think it's like boom um it's the reason you can't take CBD stuff. It causes your kidneys disease to flare. Um, yeah, yeah, we gotta listen to our bodies. Um, they were like, no stone, what did you take? Oh, wow, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't, um, it's just, it's just tuning into our bodies, really paying attention. That's how I learned that I am sensitive to gluten, is that I just started listening to my body and then I cut out gluten. And then after a week, I tried having some and I felt great when I, like the more days had gone by of not having it, I felt better and better. And then I added it and I felt horrible. And so then I cut it out for another week and I tested it again. And it was the same thing, slightly different different reactions um it was like inflammation one time and yeah just it i was like okay my body does not react well to this but i had to i had to really tune in and listen to my body um how do i feel after i eat you know this whatever this is and um hi drop nyc good afternoon hope all is well with you i hope all is well with you as well <laughs> thanks for joining the live 
Um, working at the natural food store really helped because there was access to so much food there. It was just like, um, and on my breaks, I could, I, I could start really thinking, what do I really want right now? Not not what does my like mind want like oh yeah they had these great gluten-free raspberry muffins they were awesome and i would that would be my go-to when i started there and then after a while i was like i don't really want the like gluten-free muffin every break you know what do i really want and then i started to realize sometimes i would crave um a ginger shot like a ginger juice shot and a salad um or sometimes it was like oh i want a grapefruit today or i want raspberries or um, you know, I want almond butter and celery sticks. And so being able to really take the time to stop and have access to all that great food was, was, was such an, such a, an opportunity and, um, uh, to be able to really tune into my body. And so that made me think, you know, it really does make a difference. Um, what we put in, in our bodies, it, it makes a huge difference. So, yeah, but we, it's, um, uh, it's individual. You're right. Everybody's body is a little different. Our constitutions are different. Um, and it's just knowing ourselves. I love ginger. I haven't been having enough ginger. I have a bunch of ginger. I have powdered ginger juice. Um, but I've also used to just grate, I would take a ginger root and grate it, uh, into a pot of water and then simmer that for about 20 minutes. Um, and then put, maple syrup and lemon in that and drink it hot or just drink it as it is or cool it down and make like a ginger lemonade. Those are some different ways. Um, hi, Gregor says hugs from Sweden. No, so from Slovenia. Hi. Well, hugs back to you. Um, Miss J says many people don't realize just how personal nutrition and supplementation is. Yeah. There's no one size, no one size, for all for anything we just have to tune into what our bodies need absolutely yeah um your eating habits are bad yeah well i mean it's it's also it's i i try not to be too hard on myself either because um uh ginger juice does sound good <laughs> i know i'm like hmm maybe i could make some um i, I try I, so sometimes like i enjoy treats just for the sake of a treat i feel like if i'm too strict or too rigid with myself there's um that can be stress in itself um you're allergic to just lemon i have some of those just lemons um yeah oh wait you're oh, there's a product i think it's called just lemon i think and are you talking about the product because i have some i haven't used it too much but you add it to water and it's like powdered ginger uh powdered lemon juice um oh thank you i'm a great public speaker thank you i appreciate that i'm very very tired um i haven't eaten yet today and i'm feel i'm gonna have some more water because i feel a little dehydrated um i've kind of been there's been a lot but um you came across the channel last night you were um getting oh i got some pizza in new york yeah that pizza was amazing see that's you know <laughs> hey i wanted pizza um lemonade too okay um Well, welcome to the channel, Drop um, Drop NYC. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that pizza was amazing. Something about the sauce. I think it was like the sauce cheese combination that really made it. The crust was was good, but it wasn't like. Um, hi, Albert. Albert says hi, everyone. Albert Lurie. Um, yeah, yeah. So you can't touch lemons. Ooh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, that's good to be aware. Is it like, do you get like a rash or something? Hi, Hala. Good afternoon. Oh, it's all good. So, Hala, the um, welcome to the live. Um, it was a cauliflower crust, yeah, and it was like um, chewy, which was kind of cool. And then it had um, it was uh, cauliflower, not glu it was gluten free, but it was a glute. I think they just had one kind at that place, um, and. Uh, Deborah says, hi, Rowan, glad to see you fared well with the weather. Yes, yeah, and Deborah, there's two Debras, and hi from Michigan. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, yeah, that weather was crazy. The, there was, it, it was, um, there were a lot of landslides. 
in California. Um, and it was right after I went north from LA and I door dashed in Santa Barbara and then I stayed at this rest area and um, it was a little, a little dicey. Um, so yeah, I'm glad that I was okay too. And it, yeah, um, yeah, it was scary. Um, you can't have hemp or anything with scents like deodorants and lotions. Yeah, that's another thing. Our, the scents and stuff. Um, some people are very sensitive to that. Scent, sensitive. <laughs> sensitive to scents. Um, sometimes I am. There's sometimes, sometimes not at all, but then sometimes I'm very, I'm, I can get very sensitive. Miss J, you're signing off yoga and kitchen organization to do before the Super Bowl. Awesome. Hugs from San Diego. You look forward to hanging out again on Valentine's Day. Nice. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, enjoy your yoga and your kitchen organization. Awesome. Yeah, and thanks for joining the live. Um, you're from Minnesota, Diane. Nice. Um, who? Will, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, but I love this. And you're from Wales. You absolutely love my channel. Well, welcome. Um, Hugh Wen. Hugh Wen. Um, I hope I'm saying your name right. And then Scott, hi Scott, storm is coming to New England, not looking forward to it after two days of it being in the 50s. Yeah, that's nice, 50s in New England this time of year. Um, and there's a storm coming. Well, I hope you are safe in the storm. Um, hey, hey, says the quiet witch. Um, oh, you're online. I'm, I mean, sorry. Ty okay, yeah, typos. <laughs> it's all good. Um, you had apple wedges with peanut butter. Nice. Um, oh, thank you, Kelly Jones. Thank you so much. And it's your first super chat. Um, I am honored that um, that your first super chat is on this live stream. Um, and thank you so much for that. Um, I'm not going to discuss my parents, Lori. Um, not, it's just that's a little, too, that's a, some personal, yeah, but um, they are, um, yeah. Um, that's, uh, there's just some things that I, I'm, yeah, don't want to share about. Um, but thank you for asking about them. Um, um, hi from South Dakota. I love, you love, um, hi Natana. Um, welcome. I went through South Dakota. That was another big storm. There was a rainstorm and the windshield wipers, um, broke <laughs> in the rainstorm in South Dakota. That was in September, I think. Um, welcome to the channel, Natana. Uh, yeah, the adorable puppy. She's sleeping now. Um, yeah, the Super Bowl's coming up, you guys. Um, you're allergic to marine air? Am I reading? It says air soft. Air to marine air softs. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, thank you so much. Drop NYC for some tea. I appreciate that. Yes, that's uh, thank you. Thank you. It says, I sent something on Cash App for tea. I appreciate that. Um, you'll be hiding in your car if it gets bad. Yeah. Um, you guys are so awesome. I love, like, when you're, say, you know, um, appreciating each other and, and saying nice things to each other. Like, that. just love seeing that. And it, it really, I see more and more of it every time we go live. And it makes me realize that our community is building. Um, and then when you guys say hi to each other, I love that. And it just makes me want to keep going live so that we can all hang out. Um, it's, it's, I love that. So thanks, you guys. <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> um, oh, the quiet witch. Yeah. Um, thanks for sharing your story. It keeps me going while I'm battling cancer. I only dream of traveling around and I live through you. Well, I am extremely honored that I can share my travels with you, um, the quiet witch. And I wish you and all the best and prayers for your health and recovery. Um, you can get through this. Um, yeah. And you have fibromyalgia and you're very sensitive to chemicals. Yes. Um, you wish people would not use so much perfume in public. Yeah. Life, live in life with Patty Ann. Yeah. I've heard of that. And, um, it's good for people to be aware that not everybody's, you know, we're all dealing with different stuff and, um, yeah. So that's a good thing to be aware of. Y yeah for people to not use so many chemicals in public. Yep. Um, Janice Rubin, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. 
Um, thank you, Juni Janice, for the super chat. You're more rain in Los Angeles? We are the worst with rain because, yeah, that's what I realized with the rain. And, um, you know, because at first I was talking with my son and it was like, well, that's a good thing because they need, you know, this area, the, California needs the rain. And then it was like, wait a minute, but if it hasn't rained, there's like a crust on the, it's it dries up. And so it just then runs off and floods. And it was like, it was kind of alarming, you know, just to see it around and watch the stories and stuff of, of the the flooding and the yeah um let's see maury thanks a <laughs> yeah um thanks amelia janice yeah thanks maury for um don't forget to get well and get some downtime yeah ruby will definitely keep me busy but she's also so cuddly oh she looked look she look guys she moved she's just been sleeping but now she's over here <laughs> So she was so all curled over there, but now she's over here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I, I will keep working on that video. I'm going to be doing a lot of door dashing today because of the Super Bowl. Um, yeah, and there aren't gutters on the streets because, yeah, if places aren't as used to the rain, then when it does rain, it kind of, it's like snow. It's like it, in Washington, when it snowed, even like an inch would shut down everything. Um, and I've been in other parts where it's like, it snows a lot. So it's like, it, you need to have like a foot of snow or more um, to have, yeah, she's really sweet. This, she's cuddly. Um, so, but yeah, I'll get the video out valentine's day at four pacific time i'd like to do um a valentine's day live just for fun tea and cookies we'll say <laughs> it'll be tea and cookies good afternoon deborah you finally caught a live i'm so positive thank you you enjoy listening well thank you for being here and being part of this um yeah i'm glad you caught the live um yeah, your area of New York gets 50 to 100 inches of snow a year. Yeah, that's a lot. So yeah, like one inch is not going to shut things down. But in Washington, it, it will. Um, yeah, yes, we will comfort each other. Lindsay says she wants to be touching me. Yeah, she does. When sometimes, yeah, that's all she wants. I, th I think she wants to go out or that she's hungry. And it's like she just wants closeness. Yeah. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's passed out. She was, I mean, she's not normally that rambunctious. I'm sure she'll get there in a couple weeks, like how she was climbing all over in the beginning of the live. Um, this is more, so I was like, okay, well, she'll sleep. Um, <laughs> no, she wanted to play in the beginning, but she wore herself out. Um, you use DoorDash once a week, nice. Yeah, DoorDash is great. I, I love, um, the last couple days, I... I will say um, it was kind of slow. Um, I thought San Francisco would be really kind of like popular, and I tried a couple areas around there, and it it was um, so that was that was a little frustrating. It's hard to know the different markets. Um, some places that I don't expect, like Santa Barbara, was great, um, but then that weather was coming, and I didn't want to stay in Santa Barbara. Um, but it was a great place to door dash. And then I thought maybe San Francisco would be good, but it said busy and it said there was a promo, but the orders weren't coming in. So I don't know if it was like a Wi-Fi issue because I noticed that my phone, that it might've been that. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. So it's just getting to know the different areas, but that's cool. You use door dash, um, once a week. Yeah. Wait, it snows in July? The Quiet Witch, did you say you were in Wales? Um, where you live, it snows in July. No, I think someone else was in Wales. Um, wow, yeah, snows in July. Where are you, the Quiet Witch, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah, so tea and cookies on Wednesday at 4 Pacific time, and we'll hang out. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want me to use the S word. You're expecting 18 inches. Okay, I won't. <laughs> How about, what if it's sun, sunshine? <laughs> yeah. Um, North Canada. Okay, a lot like Alaska. I would love to go to Alaska. I would love to check out Alaska. Um, 
My outlook on life is calming. Thank you. You enjoy watching while you care for your 91-year-old mom with dementia. We watch you on the big screen with your pup, Leo. Leo will be happy to see Ruby. Nice. <laughs> oh, wow, on the big screen. <laughs> That's exciting. Um, I use my phone for everything, so hopefully my glasses aren't too dirty or I'm not sure what you'll see on the big screen. But <laughs> um, Hi, Angie. I hope you have a super day as well. Um, hi, Firewood Cooking. You love the channel from North Carolina. From uh, Frankie and Dwayne. Thank you. Nice. And thanks for being a part of this. Yes, I agree, Lori. Prayers for Quiet Witch for positive recovery. Yep. Um, Penny Cox, I'm glad you got on one of the chats and you enjoy the videos. You're from Kansas. Well, welcome. Um, Ink Tart, when did I get a puppy? You must have missed something. <laughs> um, on Wednesday, I got a, a, a puppy um, in Bakersfield, California. And um, they came from a litter of puppies, then they'd stopped nursing. Um, and the family couldn't afford to feed them all. And um, yeah, so they were just giving them away to good homes. So I thought, you know, I'll take care of Ruby. Um, she'll take care of me as well. Um, yeah, sunshine. Oh, sunshine's good? Okay. <laughs> we'll say sun. Ruby's a celebrity. A <laughs> little does she know. <laughs> She's going to have to get used to the camera. Um, oh, nice. Lemon for deodorant. I've heard of that. Frederica, you said you used some lemon. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Hi, Vanessa Thacker. I'm glad you made it to the live. Hello, Liz and Lil Beastie from Florida. Nice to see you. Hello, all the way from Nottingham. Nice. Happy Ratty. All the way from Nottingham. Nice. That's so cool. Nottingham. Um, Paige, you'll get some Valentine's cookies. And uh, nice. Yeah, you guys can bring cookies. I'll have enough to share. But you might want to. Maybe we can all have cookies. <laughs> um and tea and um yeah, we'll just we'll just hang out for a little bit um you got some too okay cool um amazon has drop off boxes if you ever want to order things you don't need a p.o box okay well that's good to know thank you ac for that yeah um some people have asked about like an amazon wish list and i might do that um if people you know are interested because then i don't need a p.o box you're right yeah um i thought it would be fun to get ruby like a little ruby stone on her collar or something i don't know <laughs> um hello christy from illinois hi wiggy you're late joining we'll have to watch the replay you're saying hi from north idaho nice that's uh that's i've been through there like um is it Coeur d'Alene is th in there that's a pretty area. What's for dinner tonight? I'm not sure. So it's probably around noon, just after noon. I've been wanting to make spaghetti and meatballs. So I have these noodles. They're great. The miracle noodles. You just open them up. Um, the, they, they're just like already cooked. So, um, I have some of those and they're, they're tasty and I want to get some sauce and then either do like sausage mushrooms. I was thinking of like a pizza spaghetti. So doing like sausage and mushrooms, um, which are like my favorite pizza topping. Maybe I'll put some olives in too and some onions, put that in the sauce and put that on the noodles and then put like cheese on top. I was thinking about doing that for dinner. Um, but I am going to probably do a little bit of door dashing um definitely i'll be door dashing i'll listen to the super bowl on the radio and i'll door dash that's kind of my plan and it's 3 30 uh at 3 30 here so probably it'll be really busy from i'm hoping it'll be busy from 3 until or 2 30 even 3 until the super bowl's over so probably until dark and then i'll make dinner and um hunker down yeah um you're close to Coeur d'Alene nice yeah hi El Martinez from Phoenix Arizona nice I passed through there recently it's nice there it was beautiful um 
the miracle noodles they're from um konjac root which i don't i'm not sure what that is <laughs> it's konjac root but that's what they're made of yeah and the peppers i was thinking that i was on the fence but so now you said that i was thinking like green peppers which usually i like red peppers with like a cashew chicken i like to do red peppers but i think for the sauce maybe i'll do some green peppers yeah um no spicy peppers <laughs> i have my fill of spice for a while with those ghost pepper um chips um yeah spaghetti and meatballs yeah Oh yeah, you're Italian. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to do meatballs originally, but I think for prep, um, sometimes there's, um, breadcrumbs in meatballs. And so I'd have to find gluten-free meatballs and then, um, or I'd have to make them. And so I was thinking just for ease of getting some sausage, like Italian sausage, and then the vegetables would be easy enough to cut up and stir fry and then, um, or saute and then add the sauce. So, um, yeah yeah thank you mjk98 i'm gonna be so happy having ruby there's nothing better than i love i love i love my cat i've missed my cat a lot and i still miss my cat and i know someday i'll have ruby and meowsers and that's exciting i know she's well she's with my son um um but it's some someday i'll have both of them but ruby's somebody that currently in this vehicle i mean it's gonna work it's gonna be a we're gonna there's a little learning curve <laughs> as to how it's gonna work but so far it's been working um having the crate helps for those times you know like the door dashing um or if i have to um which most of the time i don't like I, the grocery store shower things like that so she's not chewing um yeah um <laughs> I missed the comment, but I just see this response here. Um, oh, time difference is a nightmare. Yeah, the time difference. I'll try to switch up. That's why I did one. Um, this one's earlier, and I did the later one. Yeah, the time difference can be tricky. Um, yeah. Um, I'll try to switch up at different times. Came in late. What state I'm in? Um, I'm in California. Um you remember the ghost pepper face? <laughs> I almost edited that part out with the chips because I was like, this is ridiculous. Why am I like doing this? Um, but I wanted to show you guys and warn you of those chips because <laughs> I didn't know. I've heard of the one chip challenge. And when I worked at the natural food store, I remember one time somebody like dared me to try a chip or something it was it wasn't that brand though i think it was a different one but i i mean i kind of knew what i was getting into but i had no idea that just how spicy they would be for me i mean they were really were but <laughs> and then that was the snack i had gotten to like snack on while i was like driving for the next three hours so i was like i'm not no i'm, I'm gonna do it i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna do it i'm gonna this is my snack so i slowly ate them like one chip at a time and uh yeah those actually would probably be good be good for now because they would might clear out my um congestion actually that could be very beneficial <laughs> um did my cat not adapt to car life you're worried that you yours will hate it no i think it was um she did really well in like for the first 24 hours but it might have been that she was afraid and that then she got more comfortable so i don't i don't have her trained for a leash so i I've, I've um there are people that do it that travel with their cats and do it well and the they the cats seem very um uh accustomed to vehicle life and um but i didn't i didn't i didn't have i didn't tr train her and before i was you know hitting the road and stuff i didn't have that time to work with her um and in this this size vehicle it, i think it, it, it would be it's important so if you're planning on doing car life with your cat i would i would um practice by having your cat wear a harness this is what i learned after um because i hadn't even done that she never even had a collar um so that was all kind of new and um i decided that it was better to have her stay with my son and um so which you know i we had she, i 
how old? she'll be three this year so she had for her first year and a half of like she she was used to the dog she was used to my son and so i miss her she misses me but um that was kind of a comfortable and safe place for her to be and that i didn't have the time at that point to transition to her into being into the car but if you do you know that's something you want to do i would put your uh, harness um on your cat and get her used to that and just have her or, or he or your you know um and get get your cat used to that and then um then try the leash a little bit um i just jumped right to that um and she didn't like that she didn't react well to that um i'm not in san francisco anymore i was though um hi plants with gigi <laughs> i'm in california but i'm not in san francisco um i will i'll show ruby again um yeah um uh, Ruby is a lab mix. She's like lab and um, healer. And now she moved. Now she's over here. Oop. She's um, just finding different places to sleep. Um, and she's curled up. These are my laundry bags. And this is the sleeping bag that I that normally goes in. Um, normally, after I use that, I pack it up and put it in this pillowcase, which I think is behind me. And um, it zips and it just contains the sleeping bag. And that's part of the, you know, what I sit on, like for my back. Um, but um, I've been leaving the sleeping bag out. Um, and then she can just, it's just, I, I didn't have time to put it away today. And then I thought, you know, it's nice for her cause she can get, um, there's so many ways she can get cozy and comfortable. So there's Ruby. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, when she starts to wake up, I'll probably go and end the live cause then, um, so Oh, I hear her stirring. She makes a lot of noises, too. Um, yeah, she will be a chewer, yeah. Um, yep. Oh, Daphne, thank you. Thank you so much for that, for the super chat. And it says, um, Daphne Lena Linali Xander. Oh, let... Ooh, um, I th is that your whole name? It says Daph Daphne, thank you. Um... Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> who's Ruby? Um, you came in late. Yeah, so Ruby is um, a puppy that has um, joined me on my travels. Um, she's a lab mix puppy, and um, I picked her up um, in Bakersfield. Um, yeah, my son is 18. Um, Lori, yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you yeah I did meet Ruby's mom and dad um yeah the dad seemed super mellow and he was kind of smiley he was a, a lab and he just seemed more curious he was like doo -doo -doo -doo, hi and um he's a little lanky he was brown like um like she looks like her dad kind of but like her face looks a little bit more like her mom and then her mom is smaller and her mom neither one of them barked at me um her mom was um definitely attentive and just like but she didn't seem like she seemed like she was over the puppy like having puppy you know she was uh you know but they came I I um I didn't go inside the yard but I went up and they came up and then I chatted and um with with the the guy for a little while um yeah hit <laughs> ruby <laughs> yeah um um lori will i be getting her fixed um but yeah most likely um yeah um uh, ghost pepper anything is too hot yeah that was those that is a hot I, what is the hottest pepper i've heard i don't think it's maybe it is ghost pepper there's um yeah right frederica i'm gonna try that that sounds good um yeah dogs are good company yeah she gives lots of little kisses she does chew she's chewing so there's a lot of that chewing um and um i think that we're we'll have fun together um 
Yeah. Do I know who was born first? The runts tend to be smaller. Um, uh, she's not the smallest one, but she's one of the smaller ones. Um, cause I asked that I was in, uh, cause she's small, but she's also young so that it's, it's some of that, but I also think that she'll be a combination of the sizes of her mom and dad. Her, her mom was like, yeah, like a medium size and her dad was more like, um, a lab, but not like a big stocky lab, like a lanky kind of a lab. So she'll probably be in between those. Um, um, hi, fly girl. You're a new subby. You've been watching all the old vid videos. You don't comment much and you're from Pennsylvania. Just wanted to say hi. Uh, thank you. And God bless you as well. And thank you, um, for the congratulations on my puppy and welcome welcome to the channel thanks for saying hi and commenting fly girl what am i going to cook next well i'm going to make um the spaghetti i think i might make some cookies for our valentine's live um so i haven't so i think next sunday our live that we do um i think i'll will be a celebration of twenty five thousand. so I don't know exactly what, if we'll do something fun, um, maybe I can put a poll up if you guys, but I would like to have some cake. So I'm going to cook that too. So, um, then the live that's in a week, I'd like to celebrate the growth of the channel and welcome people. And, um, when I hit a thousand subscribers, um, we played some games. So I don't know if you, the guys would like to do that, something like that. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, there's a lot more people now, so I'm not sure how to do an interactive game with a larger group, but I'll figure it out. Um, red velvet cake <laughs> says not me. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, yeah, either I have a few ideas. Um, yeah. You'd love some cake. Nice. <laughs> okay. So next Sunday's live. I don't know the time yet. It seems around noon Pacific time works pretty well. Although I think I was going noon when I was more East and that seemed to work well. Um, yeah, 25,000. I know I was going to do 20,000 and then it, it was like the storm and stuff and it just, and then, um, then 25,000 came and I was like, well, we definitely have to celebrate that. So, um, sugar cookies with strawberry cream. Well, um, living life with, um, Patty Ann now. That might be more Valentine's for the tea and cookies. I have a surprise. And so I, um, I hope I can get it together to do the surprise for the cookies. Um, I've been wanting to do these for a while. So I think Valentine's day is a good time to do them. Tea and cookies. And then the live next Sunday, we'll do cake. Um, charades. Yes. Um, so charades, I could act stuff out and you guys would have to guess. We could do that. Yeah, like where I act out things and you guys have to guess. Um, there's also like the heads up game. I don't know if you guys, um, uh, the, the, I've played that before when, and like you put your phone and it's an app and I think that something comes up and you guys ha ha would have to give me clues and I'd have to guess. Although I'm realizing like I can look in the camera. No, that wouldn't work because <laughs> I'd be looking at it and listening to your clues and then it's like, yeah, that wouldn't work. Um, okay. Maybe charades, <laughs> headbands. Okay. I don't know that game. Is that like heads up kind of a thing? It, the only thing, yeah. Headbands I think is like heads up, but then I can see myself in here. So I'd be reading your chats. You guys would be describing what was on my, okay. So maybe what I'd have to do is like, I'll hold something up and like not look and then come back and you guys would have to then tell me what it was and then the opposite would be uh um some there'd be one and I would have to describe and you guys would have to guess something like that right like I would look at a card and then you guys would have to guess what it is and then I would show, and then you guys would look at a card and you'd have to, and I'd have to guess what it is. So there's something like that too, but, um, oh, random question just popped up. Do I have to be a top dasher to work in different states? No, but it helps. Um, at least I don't think I've been a top dasher, like a lot of my travels. I try to s stick with it. Um, there'll be showers in Southern California next Sunday. Okay. Um, oh, I spy. That's a good one too. Yeah. Um, you have a Dotson name, Ruby. Nice. Dearest Dawn. Um, 
it helps. I like Dash now because otherwise you have to schedule. So for me, it's worth keeping. Um, hi, Rosemary. Rosemary says hi from Florida. It's worth it to me to keep up my acceptance ratings and all the different ratings. Um, the acceptance one is that it, it, that's the one that sometimes it drops below. I think it's seventy percent. All the others are um, the drop off rate is up there. The customer rate is up there and it's the acceptance because sometimes I don't want to accept if an order is like two dollars and it's going three miles then I'm not I'll decline that but if it drops too low then I can't dash now which means like anytime start dashing and then you have to schedule and you have to schedule for when it's busier and then that's that can be um just less flexible but i do think that you can still go to different places but they'll say schedule and then it changes your location it'll say change your location to this area from you know from albuquerque new mexico to los angeles or santa barbara and then you say yes and it updates the location and then it shows you the promos and stuff for that area um but i don't think you have to be a top dasher for that but I do think it helps because then you can just update. Sometimes I'll just update so I can kind of see the map and see what's happening. And I'll up, I'll update it, I'll press dash now, and then I go offline right away, but that way it updates my location. Um, and that way I can check and see like the, the, the in live time the, the what's happening with the, the delivery app. And so if it's really busy or it's really slow um, and kind of get a feel. I found that like if there's some if there's a lot of um discrepancy between areas like there'll be a lot of areas that are slow meaning they're like gray. Um hi Matt um or Sherry hi hello Sherry here hello <laughs> um that if it's like an area that's gray which means it's slow and then right next to it's an area that's very busy a lot of times, like when it's that extreme, that very busy area isn't gonna have a lot of orders. It's more like if everywhere is like busy or very busy, but that's probably gonna be um, a more active area than if it's like one random area that says very busy. Sometimes that that means is there are no dashers there, but there might not be any orders either, but there's just no dashers. So, that, so it's like any order that came in, the dasher that was there would get it, but, um, yeah, so it's learning, it's learning that as well. Um, you only have two zones in your city. Yeah. Um, oh, Walmart delivery. Yeah. Um, oh, she's, she's up. She might need to go outside again. Um, so I, I will probably end the live just some, um, I want to get door dashing and, oh, let's see. I'll show her to you. That, oh, she's, she's. Well, I said when she got up, so let's see if she settles down again a little bit. Looks like she's just settled down. She's not sure. She's getting a little squirmy. Um, nope, she settled back down. <laughs> um, how about you guys? What are, anybody cooking any fun Super, Super Bowl food? Her name's Ruby. That's Ruby. Um, what are you guys going to have for Super Bowl food? I'm not really having any special Super Bowl food. I usually love nachos. I love nachos. I love nachos um, with lots of stuff on them. Um, but um, she's a lab mix. So like a lab and healer. Um, oops, <laughs> he's, he's turning around. Um, but I do love, yeah, nachos and wings. Um, but I'll be door dashing. Oh, Pizza Supreme. Giros, gyros, heroes, nice, yeah, yeah, she is still sleepy, yep, um, guacamole and sausage dip, yum, I've never heard of sausage dip, nothing, um, are you gonna watch the Super Bowl, Matt, are you into the, or Sherry, are you into the Super Bowl, making a pot of chili, nice, taco dip with nachos, nice, you're ordering DoorDash, yay, <laughs> oh, lasagna, fun, you don't care about the Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm I like the Super Bowl. I like football. I think it's interesting. Um I like watching it. Um fun fact about me, I used to play football for a little while. Um <laughs> I should have turned that into a trivia question. Uh, so I like the game of football. It's it's fun. Um but yeah, I 
I'm not, I'm not particularly attached to a specific outcome. As I pull up a comment says, go Niners. <laughs> yeah, I did a DoorDash earlier um, to a woman and she had like her whole head to toe for a Niners clothes on. I was like, well, I guess you're rooting for the, <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. I'm here in California, but um, yeah, uh, you got some crab. Crab sounds good. Um, Ruby is, yeah, Ruby, I do like the name Ruby. Yeah. Um, do I do Instacart too? Um, no, I do Uber Eats, but I have to, um, I haven't used it in a while. And so I have to update, it's processing my insurance updated because I renewed my insurance. So I never sent them the renewed, like, you know, the card that they send you. So it's doing that currently, but sometimes when DoorDash is slow, if I turn on the Uber Eats app, it's like all of a sudden DoorDash picks up. <laughs> So I don't know if they're aware, they know, um, and, and Uber Eats is, is nice, but the tips take longer to come in. Sometimes they take 24 hours, like it'll show you how much you made. And actually sometimes it doesn't, it just shows you for the delivery and then a tip will come in later. Um, I don't do Uber Eats as much as I used to, um, just cause I like the DoorDash app. Um, Tammy says, go, of course, Chiefs, <laughs> Kansas City. Yeah. Um, you have a trivia question. What was the address for the Munsters? I don't know, Annie. Uh, what was the address? Oh, I, I'm, I probably, if somebody gets this, I'll be like, oh, I knew that. But yeah, um, where are you now? Um, Usher. <laughs> oh yeah, Usher is going to be the halftime. Um, you're, the, Jill, you're there for the, um, you're watching the, the halftime performance. <laughs> I'm excited to listen. Um, thank you, Janice Bear. Um, nice to see you as well. Thanks for joining the live. You enjoy the videos. I'm excited, um, to listen on the radio to the football. I mean, it's fun to watch too. Um, and I love when there's like a really good pass, a really good, long pass and that and it's caught or like a really long run and I just love that so um um oh 666 Mockingbird Lane for the Munsters <laughs> I didn't know that um yeah <laughs> oh 1313 Mockingbird Lane oh now we, which one is it um your dog sitting your son's Aussie he's keeping you in high spirits you lost all three of your dogs last year oh i'm sorry to hear you lost your dogs and um but i'm glad that your son's dog is keeping you in high spirits um yeah okay well i'm guessing it's mockingbird lane i just don't know the number reba mcintyre i heard that yeah that'll be fun to listen um 13 13 it is okay um you have to go kathy bye uh Point, point pickup, Walmart deliveries, and other stores. Yeah, I've heard that. Instacart, Walmart Spark. Um, I know sometimes there's wait lists for those things, but, um, and DoorDash usually does pretty well, but it's been, it's been frustrating the last few days. It was very slow, and it was, I was expecting, it's, it, it's hard when, it, it, it can be hard. It can be frustrating, but I know that the Super Bowl, it, today, it'll probably be pretty good, I'm guessing. So, um, they were brothers, 18 years old. Well, I'm, that's cool that you had both of them, um, together and, or three of them. I think you said three. Um, and that's a long, that's a long time. So, but that is hard. That's a big chunk of time. Um, yeah. Oh, you hear the puppers? Um, how many subs? Um, I think it, some of it's um, Wayne. I, I'm not sure. I'm learning all of that stuff. Wayne says, how many subs do YouTubers need to be full-time, meaning enough income? I think it depends on a person's bills and what, what you know, what they're, what they need for income. Um, and also, I think, um, it's, it's, it's the watch, the watching. Yeah. The puppy sounds, um, <laughs> she's waking up. Um, it's like the, the engagement, the watching, the, the, the you know, the watching the, the ads, um, I, once a YouTuber is monetized then, cause I think there's always ads playing, but the ads, um, once a person is monetized on YouTube, that, that part of that, um, 
goes to the person creating the content. So um, it depends how if the subscribers are watching the videos and the ads, then that's really kind of where um, the the it comes in. Yes, yeah, she is. She's back. <laughs> so I think it depends on the engagement of the people subscribed, I guess. Um, but um, yeah. I do um, foresee that I'll need to DoorDash a little less than I used to, which was part of my decision around getting um, Ruby. So thank you, you guys, because your um, engagement with the channel and, and all that has been helping. Um, it helps, um, and which is also frees up more time for, um, you know, adventures and hikes and things like that, which I like to film. I mean, it's fun to do the DoorDash. I'm always going to DoorDash and do the DoorDash vlogs and things like that. Um, so, um, but yeah, um, I really, really appreciate the growth of the channel and the engagement of you guys. Um, and it's just cool to get to know you guys. <laughs> um, and let's see. You love my new tattoo, and that's the second time in a live. Awesome. Well, that's so cool, Tammy. You've watched all of my videos. Oh, and and you love... Okay. Thank you. It says, we love you. Thank you so much, Tammy. Sending the love right back to you there. I'm going to give her a little bit of water. I got these from Target. These little dog dishes. Oh, that's what she wants. She's thirsty. Oh, see these... Um, there's one with some dog food, and so I'm going to give her this. Here, sorry, I kind of pulled it away from you. There you go. You can have that. Thanks for joining the Quiet Witch. Um, you're going to go now. I hope everybody has a blessed day. I hope you have a blessed day as well. Thanks for joining. Oh, hey, <laughs> Deborah. Thank you. You guys are easy to love, too. You guys are so sweet and supportive and just, like, funny and yeah i love the lives and hanging out with you guys i'm i really enjoy these um i did get a puppy yeah or a puppy got me <laughs> we cross paths yeah um yeah you had a lab when when you were younger um so sherry that was um yeah, labs are great dogs. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you like the videos. Oh, Ruby's 12. <laughs> nice. Um, so I, I think I will be winding the live down. Um, I'll probably got to take her outside again. And I'm, I'm pretty tired. So I want to just have a little downtime before I start door dashing and maybe make something to eat, just like a little snack. I'm not sure what, but I'll figure that out. But I could hang on. I mean, I could hang out with you guys for a long time. I, I just really appreciate it. I'm glad that you guys love Ruby so much. Um, that's so cool. And thank you for um, <laughs> the congratulations and, and all that, the well wishes and everything. And she'll be, she'll be part of the vlogs. And um, yeah, so, um, and uh so look forward to the, our Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, I will, Wanda. Yeah. <laughs> um, all in due time. It's all in due time. Um, um, I, I'm spontaneous, but I also kind of think out things long term. And my end goal is, and I always say this, it's, um, you know, um, being having a homestead that I'm working on and that I'm at about six months out of the year and then traveling six months out of the year and I always have that end goal in mind um and it part of that homestead I would like to have a dog I have a cat I would like to get goats someday chickens um and I'd also like to travel and sometimes that's around the states and sometimes it's internationally and um so it, it's like I'm I'm spontaneous and I'm unpredictable, but everything kind of like weaves together into this long-term goal of, um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I will eventually need a, a larger vehicle. I love the strawberries, you guys. So yeah, Valentine's Day, four o'clock, um, Pacific time, uh, tea and cookies. <laughs> For anybody that wants to bring tea or cookies, I'll, I'll have some here to share. And then, 
um, next Sunday, I don't know the exact time, but we're gonna have cake and celebrate and then um, play some games, maybe some charades and some headband games and um, just have a good time. I'll probably go around this time as well, um, maybe noon maybe noon pacific time um just to give myself a little more time in the morning but i'm not 100 percent sure but i'll post about that and i do want to get a, the video out and edit i just i know today will be busy um i i meant to get that out yesterday i so i'm not sure but keep an eye out for that too yeah um and uh i have a q and a i meant to mention this i've mentioned it a few times uh there's a post a while back that has a q and a i haven't forgotten about that i'll be doing a q and a video um if people have really burning questions about um you know car life what made me want to uh, anything like that 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 post is a good place to put in those those um those questions and so i i um i'm going to make a video out of those questions. So it's a community post, it's a, a few back, and it's it's like a call for, for questions. Um, so, and I'll do a video based on that. And so that will, that video will be coming up again soon. Um, so yeah, oh, and then, oh, <laughs> she spilled her food. She's going for her dish. She wants to eat, I was gonna, um, she's gonna eat a little more. She's a hungry puppy, um, but, I hope you guys have a wonderful, um, I'm going to have her say goodbye. She's just eating away though. Um, <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and, um, and you know, whether you're watching the Super Bowl or not, um, I hope that you're having some awesome food and, um, you know, just enjoying, enjoying the day. And thanks for hanging out on the live. Um, this is the best part of my day. Um, has been hanging out with you guys. I already know. I already know that. Um, even though I think it'll be fun door dashing and listening to the Super Bowl and, and all that. Um, so you guys are awesome. And um, I will see you guys again soon, um, Wednesday. And uh, there'll probably be a video before then. So barbecue ribs. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'll see you guys. Thank you. Thanks for all the well wishes and, and everything. So yeah. Um, okay. Take care. Bye.